Good morning, I'm Dani DeLange and I'm going to highlight some main points of this game's year-end results. Despite the shares' recent contraction in share price due to the earnings that missed market expectations, we still feel that the share is fully valued with attractive growth characteristics fully reflected in its current valuation. The group's retail strategy remains to add stores and leverage off an invested cost base while continuing to focus on cost controls which should translate into improved margins and higher profits. While space and space maturity remain structural short-term drivers of growth, we expect growth from this measure to reduce in the medium term as floor space matures. We expect margins to remain at the lower end of management's guidance as they invest in price to drive volumes given the competitive landscape. Despite the challenging trading environment, management is confident that the resilient market in which the group operates will offer some protection in times of uncertainty. Now looking at some financial highlights, the group turnover rose 13% to 19.6 billion rand, added by space growth and maturing space. The retail turnover incre increased by 15%, supported by real volume growth. Retail product inflation averaged 2.9%, contained by SEP changes. Wholesale turnover grew by 21% and now controls 79% of retail stock. The group added 21 new stores during the period, expanding its store footprint to 129 stores. Like for like growth, excluding the impact of co-location, was 9.6%. Gross profit increased by 13% to 4.8 billion rand, resulting in an unchanged gross margin of 24.4%, which remains within the group's medium term target of 24 to 25%. The adjusted EBITDA only grew by 6% to 1.3 billion rand, which combined with a 7% increase in the depreciation and amortization expenses resulted in a 5% increase in adjusted operating profit to 1.1 billion rand. Operating profit came in below expectations, impacted by costs related to the 20% increase in wholesale space and losses incurred by the wholesale segment. The adjusted operating margin contracted to 5.7% and is below the group's medium term target of 6 to 7%. Then the interest coverage improved from 4.7 times to 7 times. Headline earnings was up by 20%, benefiting from lower finance costs following the repayment of debt in the first half of the financial year and the reduction in income from associates. Adjusted headline earnings per share increased by 14% limited by a 5% increase in the weighted average number of shares and issues um, as a result of the listing of the group. Cash generation was impacted by higher working capital requirements associated with new wholesale and retail space. Management stated that this should norm normalize as the store base matures and the group declared a net payable dividend of 10.19 cents per share. Now lastly, looking at the portfolio guidance, Despite cash generation that has been strained in the current period, we continue to feel the group is a quality company operating in a resilient market segment. We feel their high financial gearing is manageable, but we feel that the premium that the group trades at relative to the general retail sector is unsustainable and we would recommend an underweight exposure. They have a current cap fix rating of 0.17% and we would recommend exposure of 0%. So before I end off, if you wish to place a trade, please contact the trading desk. Investors are reminded that they can refer to the research tab on the PSG Wealth Trading Platform to view the more in-depth company analysis. And please look out for our next trade idea on the group, which should follow the release of its half-year results towards the month of October. And investors can also refer to the filter tab under the research section of the PSG Wealth Trading Platform for a live relative valuation on the group in the interim. And also please note the following disclaimer. Thank you very much and enjoy the rest of your day.